With me now is Martin Detling, our VP and General Manager for Zendesk Explore. He'll walk us through this highly anticipated new analytics product. Thank you for joining us, Martin. Good to be here. All right, so how about let's start by talking about why Explore was so highly anticipated. Funny you should mention that. It was highly anticipated. We were fortunate to launch Zendesk Explore in front of thousands of Zendesk customers just a few weeks ago at Relate, our customer conference here in San Francisco. The response was overwhelming. Heck, it even surprised most of, most of the people on our team. So from what I can gather, here are the reasons why. Firstly, our customers love data. In today's age where the customer is in charge, service organizations are under tremendous pressure to operate at the same level as the customer. And analytics and easy access to data are the only way to get a better understanding how customer service operates and to gain insights in areas where improvements will have an impact. Secondly, we spend a lot of time with our customers trying to understand what they expect from the analytics tool and then provide them with a product that gets out of their way. In other words, deliver a product that puts agents in a position where they can focus 100% on measuring and improving the customer experience instead of managing a tool. And finally, we focused our efforts specifically on the omnichannel experience, providing users with access to the relevant data and metrics they really care about, be it from support, talk, chat, or guide. So clearly there seems to be a big need for better analytics. Well, you could, certainly can say that. At Zendesk, we know the power of giving service leaders the tools to better understand how customers interact with the business. With that in mind, we wanted to quantify just how much better tools are needed. So we decided to run surveys and ask service leaders a variety of questions about how their organizations put data to use. What we found is that over 90% of service leaders said their immediate team is data-driven. No surprise, business leaders understand the value of data. But what we also found is that 70% of business leaders said they didn't have the adequate tools to support them. Hmm, that's really surprising. Do you know what's driving that? While there are tons of enlightened support organizations that use data at every level to understand and improve customer experience, the reality is there are thousands of them who lack even the most basic access to data. They don't have the simplest means to analyze what's happening and how to apply knowledge to the business, let alone share the info with business leaders to help guide the business. And then add to that the fundamental truth that people generally are fearful of analytics. Data is scary. <laughs> Working with data and drawing conclusion is even scarier. Don't bother me. I just want to make it through my ticket queue. We've all heard that, right? Mm -hmm. And without data, without a clear understanding how customers perceive service, is it purposeful, is it insightful, is it relevant, is it timely, that customer experience not only trends to the negative, it actually impacts brand perception and brand value. And that's why data matters. All right, so what should businesses do, Martin? The customer is in charge. That's what drives expectations. And support teams need to operate at that very level. In today's world, customer experience is everyone's responsibility. But support teams are at the front line. It is support's role to solve an issue so that customers can go on with their day. Let me repeat that. Go on with their day with minimal friction. That's essentially why we build Zendesk and Zendesk Explore. One, to make it easy to understand how customers interact across channels. Two, to give users the flexibility to customize without coding. And most importantly, make it easy to collaborate and take action on the data. And we know that without data, support doesn't have a seat at the table where decisions are made. Wow, and there it is, Zendesk Explore. Yes, it is here, it's real. This is Zendesk Explore, we're very proud of that. It is the product for customers that allows them to measure and improve the customer experience. That's why we acquired about five years ago BIM and we turned it into Zendesk Explore, giving customers the tools and capabilities to dig into the data and help understand what's happening in the queues. And most importantly, earn that seat at the table. Explore is analytics for every channel. 
Explore provides organizations immediate insight across every channel so support leaders can get the full picture of today's omni-channel service experience. Whether you're trying to analyze data from support, chat, talk, and guide, that data is there to get started with instantly. And as I said, we build Zendesk Explore with a Zendesk customer in mind. That's fantastic. So what have customers been saying about Explore so far? Well, we've been hearing some pretty amazing things from customers who have started to use Explore. One quote that I really love is from someone who joined me on stage at Relate, Justine Madison. She is the Director of Customer Service and Support at Lever. Here's what she said. Since I've started building queries and dashboards in Explore, I've managed to solve for all the pain points I had with reporting. Turns out, the main things I needed are things you were already thinking about. Mm. This is such a powerful and relevant quote. We are thrilled to hear that Explore is helping customers solve real problems and that Lever are finding the work we put into Explore valuable. That's great. So there's clearly a lot of business value here. Absolutely. There's real business value in the products we're building. I'm sure you're thinking, how can Explore do this? I know I can build charts, analyze data, et cetera, et cetera. But what business impact does it really have? Well, we ran another study. We wanted to learn more about the true value that analytics can bring to the table. So we benchmark customers who are extremely active in our analytics products against those who are not. And what we found is that customers who are really putting analytics to use, digging deep into the data and find areas of improvement, they are faster first reply times as well as faster resolution times. These are metrics that we are super proud of, and we are glad to demonstrate now how analytics can help support teams solve customer issues better and more effectively. All right, so it's clear Explore offers great business value, but what else makes Explore great? Like, what really excites customers about Explore? Well, the answer here is very simple. We focused our investment on basically three areas of the product. Right off the bat, the expertise is built in. We decided to remove the friction that's caused by angst and fear. We've built in hundreds of charts and dashboards that are based on best practices and expertise to allow anyone in the team to use the data and understand what's happening. Data and expertise are right there, available from the get-go for anyone to use. No coding. Just dig in and explore. <laughs> Secondly, we decided to offer a capability where customers can make it their own. With Zendesk Explore, we are delivering the power of a full-featured custom analytics engine that enables everyone in support teams to surface relevant insights, create beautiful charts to do one and only one thing, improve customer service, and to help guide the business. This is really my favorite aspect of Explore. It's so easy for anyone to build charts and dashboards with Explore's point-and-click chart and dashboard builders. You don't have to be an expert in data visual visualization. <laughs> Explore, for example, has an intelligent chart selector sele that selects the right chart type for you simply based on what you're measuring. And as I said earlier, empowering customers to focus on the customer experience is our guiding principle without letting the tool get in the way. And finally, share and collaborate. This is possibly the most critical area of impact in Explore. We help teams put data to work by offering easy collaboration and sharing either with colleagues in support or beyond. For example, in business leadership. To do one thing and only that, to improve their customer service and to help guide the business. As I said in the, in the beginning, winning at customer experience is about helping customers get on with their day and resolve issues with a minimum of friction. We created Zendesk Explore to help customers do just that. That's fantastic. So can you show us a demo, Martin? Absolutely, Teresa. Let me put on my glasses for that. So what you see here, this is Zendesk Explore. It looks familiar, right? Mm -hmm. It is a Zendesk product. It looks like a Zendesk product. It is real. 
So what my team built for me here is my customer satisfaction dashboard. You can build your dashboards either from custom, from scratch, or you can use one of those pre-built metrics and pull them into your own dashboard and make it your own, as we discussed earlier. So what I have here is some data around CSAT by week, CSAT by agent. We also have a couple of customers here displayed who are at risk of churning. So this is all very helpful data that I look at every day. Now, Let's drill in on the CSAT by week and look at the chart. So what I see here is really not something that I like because the trend is uh, going negative. And in fact, Explore is giving me a forecast based on the data it has that it's going to continue to do so. So here's where the capabilities of our easy click and drilling uh, comes, comes to play. So I'm going to select the chart and drill in and find out what is really happening there. I could uh, look by team, I could look by month or hour, but I'm really interested here in understanding, is this a channel issue? Is this uh, a talk? Is it guide? Is it support? Is it Facebook? Where is it coming from? And with that data, Explore gives me an immediate chart and shows me what's really happening across the channels. And let's take a look at this. Clearly, we, have, we seem to have an issue with that compared to the other channels. So this gives me a chance to go even further and drill down deeper into this um, chart and understand what is happening here. So I'm pulling out uh, the chart builder, and I can drill down again into different metrics. metrics. I'm choosing uh, metrics by the hour because I want to understand, is this somehow related to my staffing? Is it related to the number of agents that are on staff or the volume of tickets that's coming in? So again, Explore is giving me an immediate chart, and here's, here's the answer. Clearly, between the times of roughly 5 in the morning and 10 in the morning, our CSAT scores are going down. So this is an issue. This is something that Explore gives me right away, and clearly there seems to be something going on that's related to our team. So what I would like to know next is, what is the root cause of this problem? So I'm going back into this um, interactive chart builder and pull up some additional data. Here's the easy uh, click uh, and point interface where I can bring in other metrics. In this case, I'm interested in, hey, first reply time. Maybe there's a correlation between bad CSAT scores and first reply time. I select it, and Explore gives me an update to the chart. And voila, we have the answer. Our CSAT scores seem to go down every time when our uh, response time is going up. So clearly, we have a staffing issue. Perhaps it's an idea to share with my team that we put more agents on staff during that hour. So I use the sharing collaboration tools and let my team know, hey, we have CSAT issues during that particular shift. Maybe bringing more agents in will help us with that CSAT score. And that's really a sneak peek at the Zendesk Explorer, the power it has, and it's available now, ready to be used by our customers. Awesome. That's so wonderful to see these amazing new analytics capabilities, Martin. I know customers are always eager to get their hands on better data. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Teresa. It was a pleasure.